Welcome, fellow entrepreneurs, to the Amazon Sellers School Podcast, where we talk about Amazon Wholesale and how you can use it to build an e commerce empire, a side hustle, and anything in between. And now, your host, Todd Welch. What are your thoughts on people who are looking to start selling on Amazon now? I mean, you got to treat it like a business. I think I kind of got into it because I was able to treat it like a side hustle and it was just a thing I was doing. I mean, it blew up bigger than I could imagine, but at the beginning, it was just a way to make a little extra beer money when I was in college and it's something that I had the goal of being able to quit my job, quit my internship and just do that to make side money and, and, and all that. And I feel like now you have to treat it as a business and there's a lot that has to go right from logistics to trademarks, so much that needs to go right from start to finish that you need to be focused just like like I start new businesses all the time my business partner and I are, are growing a portfolio of different businesses and we just launched a new one and we if we can't focus on it full time because we have a lot of companies we're hiring a team that's going to focus on it full time because that's what it takes to run a business in 2023 and and Amazon's no different I think that the days of making a quick buck or treating it as something you're doing on the side Maybe they're not old, over for everyone, but it's definitely on the, the harder side to do than it was before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, I think you can still do it as a side hustle if you just want to make 500 to 1,000 bucks a month. But once you try to start scaling that into the millions, you really got to be 100% in the business, treat it like a real business, not a side hustle or get quick rich like a lot of people try to portray it. Absolutely. So with free up. Let's dive into that and walk us through kind of your process of building that or actually not the process of building it so much, but the process of how you helped people find good VAs and how people who are currently selling on Amazon can do the same. Yeah. So, I mean, keep in mind, we were a marketplace. We weren't an agency. We weren't training VAs. Like we had initial VAs, like the first 15 VAs we had on our Amazon business that we gave out to people. Sure. We knew them and we trained them and whatever. But after that, it was a marketplace. Our whole proposition was we would get thousands of applicants every week. We'd vet them. Top 1% would get on the platform. You tell us what you need, graphic designer, customer service, Amazon list, or whatever it is. We introduce you the same day um, and you could hire them right away knowing not only do we vet them, but we'll back it up if anything goes wrong. If you're not happy, we'll refund you, give you credit, get your replacement. If they quit, we'll cover all replacement costs. So that was our, our proposition and FreeUp's still operating today um, even after we sold it. But I mean, like any business we start, whether it's our bookkeeping business or our Trio SEO or SEO business, like we do minimum viable product. We gave a bunch of free hours of VAs out to people and we saw if they like it, if they came back for more and we listened to feedback and we adjusted and we launched with a bare minimum software that did very little. Um, and just recorded VA hours and that was it. Um, mm-hmm. And we slowly built on that as we proved the process. And we, we kind of have the mentality that most businesses fail. And if, if there isn't a market for what we're selling, we're just gonna move on to something else and people aren't happy, we're just gonna refund them. We're only interested in running businesses that people are happy and that there's a real market for it um, long term long term. So that that's kind of our mentality. And I mean, off the ground, we, we started to learn SEO. My business partner became an SEO expert over the years just from spending hours on it every day. I started to go on podcasts. I started to reach out to other people in the space, other people like, like the Helium Tens of the World, Jungle Scout, different software companies who didn't provide VAs, didn't provide freelancers, but I didn't provide Amazon software, but we had the same target market. So we build partnerships and we cross promote. And a lot of those big companies now um, weren't that big at the time. So we formed partnerships while we were small and we both grew together and helped each other throughout the years and, and stuff like that. So we really treated free up as like our testing strategy for what marketing works and what it doesn't. And we actually have an organic marketing blueprint of everything we did to not only grow out or to grow free up, but we use it for all our other businesses as well. If people go to outsourceschool.com slash organic marketing, you can grab that. And it's everything from podcasts to backlinks to um, putting out content to partnerships and, and how we do it for our companies. And the same thing still applies it in 2023. Yeah, for sure. You you put out a lot of really great resources when it comes to hiring PAs and such. So I definitely would recommend people grab that. This has been another episode of the Amazon Seller School Podcast. Thanks for listening, fellow Amazon seller. And always remember... 
Success is yours if you take it.